How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Next Y. <laughs> the channel. Okay, hopefully this will be brief. Because that's lots of uh, appointments coming up. There's like today, tomorrow, the next day, and I gotta do a speech, so this can be spotty, because in my head I said, I'll try to do one every day. Oh it's like, all right, so yesterday was the Oscars. That was very interesting. Um, sort of. Yeah, I mean, no. Uh, I mean, I didn't watch all the movies. Usually I used to watch all the movies. I used to go to movies a lot and then see what I liked and then see what they picked. And if they didn't pick what I picked, then it's politics of the academy and they're they're wrong <laughs> they're picking their, their I guess. anyway so um and then i kind of they they had a, a jimmy kimmel host and he did a good job jimmy kimmel you know i like jimmy kimmel and uh, i don't watch his show that much but uh i used to and then he's comfortable to watch he's a good host for the Oscars and they brought him back I think this is his fourth time and I thought wow doesn't it like um, Christopher Walken wow uh, he used to be the host used to be um, Billy Crystal a lot there was Billy Crystal Billy Crystal Billy Crystal and he did a great job and then when it wasn't Billy Crystal it was this is awkward but I found out in the past it used to be Bob Hope was the most common, the most frequent host of the Academy Awards. Bob Hope. Like 19 times it was Bob Hope. Wow. Thanks for the memories. And then... Where am I? Chronologically after that, there's uh, Johnny Carson. <laughs> Johnny Carson. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of remember. Yeah, it was Johnny Carson. Yeah, wasn't it? And then they would have the odd um, person who, you know, like, the one-off host kind of thing going on. But the consistent host is what I was getting at. And, uh, well, anyway, so Jimmy Kimmel now. He did a great job. And um, I didn't watch a lot of the movies, but apparently Oppenheimer got lots of them. Got, like, best picture, best director, best this, best that, best, 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 best bestie, 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 best. Boom! And Barbie got, like, um, an award for one of their songs. I don't know if it was the Kennergy. The Kennergy! The Kennergy! Of course, I saw the... I watched some of the entertainment. Oh, you know, gosh. I was like, what the heck? Guide. Anyway, guide. Stay with me. Stay with me. Anyways, I guess that's it right now. Um, uh, lickety-quickety. Um, yeah, the wind is blowing up a storm. You know, some people get... A down feeling when it's rainy too much and everything with me with the wind I get irritated and then I just nice uncomfortable and irritated that's what wind does to me after a while so I'll be happy when this is uh, not windy and um, Trump gosh I haven't said anything about him well Trump um, they're gonna they want to ban TikTok to the horror of many people, <laughs> especially the kids, the TikTokers now. And um, Trump has to uh, wedge his way into politics and lawmaking because it's in Congress, before Congress, when it banned TikTok, Chinese, China influence with the government. So um, Trump says, don't ban TikTok, because if you ban TikTok, it will help Facebook and Trump hates Facebook because he thinks Facebook was implemental in him losing the election in 2020. Like he, it was that, it was Facebook that did it. I guess he was on Twitter and then Facebook and then I don't know. 
didn't Obama, wasn't he the first one to send anything social media? He was like, and then Obama, and then social media, it's a gold mine. And so it's a battle of that. I don't know. It's just stupid. Here in Hawaii, oh my God, it's like people have gone crazy. Murder. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. Sure. Um, somebody pulled a, you know, Jack Torrance of The Shining on their family, and it's in Manoa, and it's pretty scary. Uh, you know what? I just, just, just maybe just a quickie paper chat. Here. Come on, let's just go. Ooh, oh, oh, there's the people, and and uh, this is kind of like for Hawaii. I mean, this happens once in three lifetimes kind of deal it's not that common and so it's like horror stories i mean there's like a a, a little a smaller one version and um i don't know when i was like in fifth grade and it was like all the kids are like oh, really really there's a like horror story um uh i don't know what's going on here what is going on Senna gets laughing in the didn't he? He showed up in the Academy Awards with no clothes on. What, what the heck? So here you go. The Oppenheimer dominates. Yes, yes, yes. Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, he puts a lot into his acting now. Uh, he got Best Supporting Actor. Best Actor was the guy Oppenheimer of Oppenheimer. The Cillian Murphy guy. This the creepy um, yeah, Irish guy. Ah, uh, there's Anatomy of a Fall. Poor Things is a um, very, very strange movie, I was told. But that might be worth seeing. It's just like one of those, what the heck happened? Um, God, God, it's not for you. God, it's not for you. No, it's probably not for me. I got a message there. And here we go with the winning streak. The volleyball guys, the UHA, they're winning and they won and they won another game or set or whatever they call it. It was against US Irvine. But Are you okay? Are you okay? Well, Spyros isn't okay. Spyro Chakras. That guy hurt. He, he might have hurt his knee. So he might be out for the count. So they they lose the, like... It's the Spyro Chakra. Is that Chakra? Shak, shak, shakas. Chakras. You can't understand. Sorry, it's a Greek name. I can't understand. It's all Greek to me. But Spyros injured his knee. Oh, no. I guess that's him right there. Yeah. He's like, ow. I don't know if that's when it happened, but... Spyros is injured, oh no, but so far they've won tons, like all the time, right, there, done, <laughs> just relax, you know, remember back in the day, back in the day, when you want to relax, you just kind of go outside and catch the guy that came back from the damn grave, what the heck is that, 1973, senior citizens get a free lunch at Aala Park, oh, that's like kind of like the homeless park downtown, senior citizens, and they get free lunch at 500 needy people over the age of 60, uh, uh, wanna make a horror movie? Go out there, central casting. Okay, sorry. Uh, you know, just, uh, I don't know. Red finger on the pulse, anything going on. Um, oh, oh, oh. Spaceship. Okay. Here we go. Um, it's nice, planet, but politically, it's nothing but reruns. Okay, that's good. Anything here? Give me good to give me the fire ants. Uh, selling cakey over cannabis. Guess senators. Oh, it's killing this a bit safe cakey. So what does it come for? All right, there is the alcohol limit. Yeah, they're lowering the blood alcohol limit. And they're, they're complaining now about that. That was. It's how about this Aloha Stadium? What's going on? Remember Aloha Stadium? Kau Hale, a better use of old Aloha Stadium land. Another Aue project. What are our leaders thinking? The University of Hawaii football team has seven home games in 2024. If they build a new Aloha Stadium for our football team, it will be used seven days out of the year. A capacity at UH Manoa's Clarence T. C. Ching Athletics Complex is just fine. A better use for the current Aloha Stadium. You want a grass ball? Get over there. Location would be seven Kauhale Towers, similar to Gohio Park Terrace. A Kauhale Haleiva would be used 365 days a year. Rick Ornelas 
Pupu Unui. Oh, gee, thank you, Rick. There, uh, um, gee, um, yeah, build more buildings. Every time they build affordable housing or something like that, it never turns into affordable housing. It turns into the big money-making development project. It's like a little bait and switch for developers to develop the expensive hotel condominiums anyway. Whatever, though. Hey. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Anyways, I think that's it now. Aloha. Gotta go. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes. Okay, aloha to you. Cause I don't give a fuck what you say Yeah, I'ma do shit my way